guys, it's Sam here. I just got home from the gym and I just received this awesome recipe from Melissa. She's actually doing the challenge with me and I thought I'd share it with you because it is quick and easy to make and I haven't thought of it, so I had to share the word. So we're gonna be making a protein souffle and it's gonna be delicious and it's so easy to make. So all you need is one egg. What you're gonna do is crack it into the bowl and this goes into a microwavable bowl at that. So crack that in there, just kind of mix it up a little. And then you're gonna add two scoops of your Vi-Shape mix. Two, okay. And you gotta just mix this up together, like a little cake batter. And also you're gonna add about one to two tablespoons of water. Mix that all together nicely. And if you want the vanilla flavor, awesome. This is good to go. You're gonna put this in the microwave for about 60 seconds after you've mixed this all up. But if you want to add some flavor to it, if you're on the challenge, you get a ton of, you get a few flavor mix-ins when you order your first challenge kit. So right here I have two boxes of my favorites. I have chocolate and peach. So pour these in and flavor up your souffle with whatever flavor you'd like. Also, another ingredient that would be great to add is cinnamon. So you can add a little extra taste and cinnamon is great for regulating your blood sugar also. So this recipe, you have your fiber, your protein, and it's no carbs. So it's a perfect little snack during the day or after the gym or just to treat yourself like instead of going for a much sweeter dessert. So I'm going to, this is ready all mixed up. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 60 seconds. And after 60 seconds, you'll see that it is all cooked up and ready to eat. So you can either eat it straight out of the bowl, add some berries to it, or flip it over onto a plate and dress it up a little nicer. So this is a quick protein, fiber, nutrient-rich recipe, no carbs, and it's gonna fill you up, taste great. So hope you guys love this recipe, and let me know if you decide to make it up. We'll see you later.